so I'm, I'm uh, at my buddy's shop, Wicked Fab, and I've got some pretty uh, cool news. He's actually gonna make me kind of like a like a prototype, yeah, uh, ram horn style manifold. So he's gonna kind of use my car to kind of for fitment, mark it up, and uh, actually make one from scratch. He's a badass fabricator, and he's uh, gonna kind of talk about the pieces and the parts we're gonna use. I wanted to try to help him out and build a. Um I guess we could say a budget style uh, ram horn, you know, as budget friendly as we can. We know not everybody is uh, can spend a thousand dollars on a, you know, a good quality manifold. You know, there's a lot of cheaper ones out there that that have come to me with cracked flanges or wastegate uh, outlets cracked. There's there's always something. So um, you know, if we could help him out, he's doing his uh, turbo build on his. Uh, D series, yeah, D16, yeah, D16 uh, yeah, forged motor. So, yeah, it's uh, a budget, budget uh, speed factory rod and Matura pistons. It was like 500 bucks to the bottom end. And I was thinking about you see the top mounts, like they uh they kind of swoop yeah. down and up, but man, they just kill bottom end, you know, they're kind of yeah. larger, larger cubic inch engines, yes. I guess, or larger leader. Yeah, that's what Tommy said. Tommy said that the uh. If you do a, a, a forward a forward facing yeah, or yeah. you know a, a top mount or whatever that uh, he said you need a larger motor. So. Yeah, I don't think the little one six is. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the ram horn is gonna be good to like keep the mid and bottom end somewhat there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, I think the main thing is budget friendly. You know, try to try try to keep it to where you know you're gonna have badass quality. It's gonna have the the badass stainless steel PLR CNC machined um, yeah. um, head flange. Of course, the less material you use, the more budget friendly it's gonna be, you know? Try to be real competitive with what's up in the market. That is still a good quality. Yeah. Of course, you can find the, the eBay uh, Ram horns for 300 bucks, 250 bucks, you know? Yeah. Shit, probably cheaper than that. Yeah, to get to decent quality, they're about three hundred. I mean, yeah. you do find them for like a hundred bucks, but they're like fucking. Oh, they're yeah. like paper thin. Yeah, yeah. So this is a. Uh, if you're, if the guys out there building a D series, most likely they don't have like a limited uh, fund. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is uh, this stuff ain't gonna crack. It's uh, schedule ten, um, stainless, uh, well dealed, so they're not, uh, you know. Everything's gonna be uh, pretty darn solid. Ten gauge, you said? Um, yes, it's schedule ten. Um, it's um, it's not too thick, or it's gonna be extremely heavy on you know, uh, you know the header studs or header bolts. Um, so it's not it's not extremely heavy. I've seen some people make it out of schedule forty, which is way too bit too much, you know. Um, but I think I think with this stuff, it's gonna be perfect. But, we're gonna polish everything up, get all the night. The yeah, it's got like a texture coating on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying the idea is to kind of have it end up as shiny as it is right here on the little bevel, like polished. Yeah, yeah. Once we run it through the polisher, it'll take that outside coating off, makes weld quality a whole lot better. <clears throat> um, so, man, I think it's gonna be a nice piece. I think it's gonna be good to, uh, you know, help you all out and get you a. Uh, a nice quality manifold over, you know, you know, uh, all the other ch cheaper stuff that's out there. Yeah. If I can, you know, help myself and widen out my uh, your market. I, I guess, I, yeah, I guess the genre of, <laughs> of cars that I work on. Because typically, what do you work on? GMLS stuff, you know. A couple fours here and there, but mostly. Yeah, GM. yeah. Every once in a while, we even got a. GMLS airboat behind you. LS powered airboat. Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. Building a custom stainless exhaust for it. Cool. So that's going to be awesome. You know, a prelude. I'm not sure maybe you can grab a clip of uh, a picture off my Facebook page of the piping that we did on. I think it was an H series, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm almost positive it was an H prelude. Um, we did turbo piping on that. So I think that was my first Honda, but. I think getting into like the D-series engines would be good because there's so many of them. It's yeah. probably the most common, most popular thing to build because they're so cheap and there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, man. I mean, if you can, if we can make something that the quality's that much better than the very cheap one, yeah. But you know, two two hundred dollars more, you know, uh, I think I think that's that's 
the direction we want to go. You yeah, know, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be free, but it's going to be top tier quality. Yes, for not too much more than your average price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all going to take time. We'll see what when we make this first one. Uh, we get Bo's car in here and uh, get the um, get get started on building the manifold. You know, we'll see how much material we have in it and budget it accordingly to uh, what we have in it. Shoot the you know the header flange alone, CNC header flange is a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not you're not getting cheap stuff. It's gonna be as good as it gets, man, you know, but- 100 bucks for the flange? For, yeah, yeah, for the header flange itself, you yeah. know? So yeah. it's, it's you know, we still got, you know, all our run pipes, and then the main thing after that is um, turbo flange. I think we could find a good, a good, um, good starting point for that. Like, you know, good quality, half inch thick, um, and then wastegate is the other thing. I'm not sure what wastegate uh, you're gonna run, and um, I guess we'll find the best budget friendly way of skate that most D series people run. Yeah. You know, we need to try to find uh, a way of skate that's going to, uh, you know, fit into the budget friendly zone of, you know, we don't want to make a, uh, you know, we'll say five, fifty, six hundred dollar manifold and uh, they got to spend <laughs> 300 bucks on way, four, or 400 bucks on a way of skate, you know, yeah, which, yeah. you know, the way I look at it, waste gates is not one thing that you need to cheap out on. You yeah. know, waste gate controls boost, you know. You have any failure, you know, valve stays closed and shit goes boom, you know. <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's, true. That, that's, just, that's just how it works, you yeah. know. Um, you know, a lot of people buy the budget friendly waste gate and sometimes they work, you know. I'm not going to say that they don't. Um, but, you know, I guess you got to do your research and find out, you know, uh, which budget friendly wastegates work and you know if we can find a budget friendly wastegate we'll put their flange on the manifold so we'll be like okay well, we probably like we, a, we sort of trust this wastegate yeah, so you know yeah. i get or we can leave that open to the buyer to where we build everything i think the most popular one is like the 38 millimeter uh, i think precision offers that too but ebay they you know they make a bunch of replicas and yeah. stuff like that yeah i started becoming a dealer for for a, a parts place and they offer some waste gates. I think they offer a Turbo Smart, which Turbo Smart's good. Yeah. Um, and if we can offer a manifold with, um, you know, a good price Turbo Smart waste gate, um, that that'd be awesome. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can use the Turbo Smart flanges. And if y'all want to buy the waste gate, if you can't afford it right now, then y'all can just buy the buy the waste gate then and then mount it up when y'all are ready. Um, or if y'all want to do like a package deal with the waste skate if you're looking for a good waste skate with at a fair price um man honest truth compared to the summit price i think i got it like uh you know man almost like almost 50 dollars cheaper than the summit price really yeah, yeah. so you know what I, if, if i can sell the flange i won't make no money on waste skate I'll, I'll help help someone out and you know get the waste skate for them at that price if they want to buy a if they want to buy a manifold you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah so sure. you know i mean Save fifty dollars on a on a waste gate. Put that towards the quality of the manifold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you buy a manifold, we can get you a good price on a turbo smart waste gate. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't have much money growing up, and shoot, I still don't have much money. <laughs> but you know, I mean, help someone out when I can. Both might have a uh, good deal on a nice turbo coming up. I so, hope so. So that if uh, somebody comes through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if this deal goes through. Uh, have the, the old uh, the old grease monkey Civic is gonna get a pretty nice turbo. So I don't know if you say it just yet. I don't yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it a secret. Yeah, we'll keep it for the next video. Just in case it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it for the next yeah. video. I think, but it's gonna uh, yeah. both stepping away from the eBay turbo. It might be the highest quality piece on the car <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the most expensive thing on there too. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna hopefully hopefully it goes through and we can. Uh, that's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be a nice pair with this. Uh, good quality turbo manifold and a nice efficient turbo is gonna uh, make the world of a difference on yeah. and then new motor so yeah, yeah. yeah with the new motor it's gonna uh, it's gonna be a pretty nice combination hopefully uh, everything holds up <laughs> yeah, no, it'll be all right yeah. I'm sure yeah famous last words right it'll be okay uh, that was my buddy Stevie's shop, uh, Wicked Fab. I've, I think I have like at least two videos on my channel 
kind of cover and he did like a turbo ram a turbo silverado and the, the uh, case swapped on to fit i kind of talked a little bit about that but basically he's you know as you all saw he's gonna build me very, basically a very very high quality uh ram horde manifold and if all goes well i'm gonna actually get my hands on a really good turbo no more uh ebay stuff i'm gonna kind of graduate to some uh to some big boy stuff i guess actual name brand uh i'm not gonna say what it is quite yet just in case it doesn't work out but hopefully hopefully it does i should be able to get my hands on it in a week or so the idea is to kind of start replacing all the cheap knockoff stuff that i've done you know the turbo the wastegate the blow-off valve just start replacing all this ebay budget stuff with quality pieces just one by one start with the uh i'll start with the turbo i'll get a quality manifold get a quality wastegate i might go uh turbo smart maybe precision I'm not quite sure yet uh stevie was actually saying that he could give me a deal on a turbo smart uh wastegate so i might look into that and see what, uh, what kind of deal he can get me it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun so yeah if you like the video uh please like and subscribe I'll try to get another update out as soon as possible, at least one a week, hopefully kind of let y'all know where the build's at and where I'm going. Uh, but yeah, please uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.